magnum, magnesium, if you have too much magnesium, there's less excitement at the electrolyte party. I like to understand magnesium or hypermagnesium as if someone pulls out a gun in a party, not a lot of people are going to be jumping around and having a good time. When someone pulls out a gun, usually people hit the deck, music stops, and everyone's quiet. Am I right? Especially if someone pulls out a gun in the bank. Everyone hits the deck, covers their head, and um, pretty much there's no um, excitement going on. So if you have too much magnesium in your body, there's not a lot of excitability in the um, cells. So you have decreased excitability. Now if you have too little magnesium, if you don't have any guns, you have gun control, and let's say you're at a Christmas party or at a house party, or you're, I don't know, at a festival or a spring break, I don't know what you guys do, <laughs> but um, if no one has any guns, there's no threat, there's no magnums there, so your magnesium does less, basically, hypomagnesium, no guns, everyone's having a good time, everyone's partying, music's blaring, everyone's dancing and just raging it up and having a great grand old time. This magnesium, this hypomagnesium, I like to call it, basically no guns. A lot of electrical stimuli, a lot of excitement. So, excitement. So with too much excitement in the heart, we get something like this. So one of the things that we like to put our patients on is magnesium sulfate, bringing out those guns, doing crowd control, bringing the um, law enforcement in, or bringing the outlaws in, we can call it. Bringing out those guns, saying, hey, you guys need to get under control, or else it's dead meat for you. So we infuse our patients with mag sulfate to bring down the excitability in the heart. Bring it back down to baseline. And that's really one of the main indications for um, our tornado, our tostades de puentes, okay? Another thing that we like to treat is almost like a, is a, one of the big indications for really any uh, ventricular erratic rhythm, like V-fib, V-tap. The last thing is your cardioversion. Cardioversion. Basically meaning, layman's terms, for a big shock. We're trying to send that shock through that SA node, down into the AV node, down into the Purkinje fibers, through the bundle branches, get that good clean contraction, get it going right back on track. And that is our main goal. So just remember that tornado, that torsades de puentes, that tornado looks like this. We usually give magnesium to bring down the excitability, because anyone with the gun, we're not going to be too excited about that, <laughs> bring down the crowd control, and really bring that baseline back to normal. So hopefully that helps a little bit with your tornadoes, okay? So there we go.